This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachel Bob here. Welcome to another Sims Mobile video. This time it gets taught to you all about the Christmas update, which I know you guys have been waiting for. Sim. So let's go through everything that's coming in this update. Once again, links in the description and the whole video is broken into chapters so you can skip ahead to the bits that you're interested in or just settle down and watch the whole thing right through. So there is a blog gone live, again I'll link that in the description but let's go through it here with all the event info. So the blog post reads, Susu, give yourself a well-deserved pat on the back, Simmers. We have made it to the end of the year at last. It's time to celebrate this silly season for as many reasons as you think of with your Sims. If you'd rather plan a staycation and snuggle up in a cosy cabin this winter while it's freezing cold outside, we hear you. In our holiday celebration update, we're proud to reveal more gameplay improvements. Plus, our events are filled with tons of festive decorating ideas to make sure this year's celebration is the best. Okay, so let's start with quality of life improvements. In our previous update, we made changes to our basic actions gameplay mechanic so you could spend more time doing things you love with your Sims. Okay, so this time they've made more improvements, starting with the improved starting house. For new players that install our game and progress through the tutorial levels, you'll start out with a modern first home that is less derelict and contains desirable decor. They've also added new items and expanded the base game catalogue, so they've got a big haul of new outfits, cultural hairstyles and furniture available for all players to enjoy from the moment you start playing the game or continue playing the game. I've done a blog post with lists of pictures of all the new build by and cast items coming so you will see some in this video but go check out that link in the description and that will list them all if you want to know everything that's coming otherwise you'll be surprised speaking of being surprised they've also improved the surprising choice mechanic seamless link there the random mechanic that interrupts special moments with your sims couldn't have described it better myself will now occur less frequently they've removed some of the scenarios and they occur in more appropriate moments. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say I wouldn't have minded if they've, they'd have just taken them all together, but they do provide some cool boosts. So maybe we'll start to appreciate those more when we see it less. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And also, I'm a bit dubious about this thing as well, but they have, they've also made a change to the way that we move objects. I haven't tried this yet, I don't know how it's going to feel, but I'm scared. Have you ever struggled to move your decor around your home while you're in build mode? Now you'll be able to move items by tapping them instead of holding the object. Once you're happy with its new placement, simply confirm your decision by pressing the green tick. So the green tick has gone from one area and been brought back to another. And it's kind of strange because I'm worried that I'm just going to tap and it's going to start lifting all kinds of things up when actually I just wanted to move somewhere or something but I, I, I really don't know how that's going to work and if that's going to be good or annoying. Hopefully it makes it easier to pick up things like rugs and to get things when bigger things are kind of in the way with the big footprint in front. I don't know how it's going to work. I just... I'm a little bit worried. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know in the comments. Okay, now let's talk about Wumples. So we've got the 12 days of Wumples seasonal quest. Wumples the bunny is visiting Briny Heights and has brought a special quest with her. Check back every day and complete tasks to earn up to 12 seasonal items. You'll love the inclusive seasonal rewards that range from a traditional menorah, happy Hanukkah garland, garlands of Eden, Present Pile, Elegant Canara, Joyous Kwanzaa, Artwork and much more. This works a little bit differently to the normal Wumples and don't worry, there's a normal Wumples as well. I know you were really worried about that. This Wumples is basically one task 
each day for 12 days. It's a very small task. I've got a blog post showing the exact tasks and rewards for each day so check the link in the description to go and see those if you want to make sure which day to log in or if you think it'll be beneficial to log in for all of those. These are all old items that you may have missed out on if you haven't been playing for long. It's not super exciting for me who's been playing it since before launch because I've already got everything but at least I know I don't have to log in every day I guess. So you will get one small task each day, you have to do it within that day, it doesn't roll over onto the next day so make sure if you want that item on that specific day you do that task that it's given on that actual day. So the 12 days of one pulls is going to start on December 16th at 10am and it's going to run for 12 days and like I said link in the description for the task details. So there is another normal one pulls with this. The prizes here alongside 10 fashion gems is snow day jacket and snow day boots. I actually really like these prizes. This is the first time I've actually liked some one pulls prizes for a very very long time. I do wish they were unisex though. These are both in six different colours and wait for it and they're also both for child sims make sure you have a child sim and you're going for that because yeah it's for children the jacket is for female children and the boots are for male children this particular quest is going to start on december 29th at 10 a.m local time it's going to run for five days and there's a link again in the description to a blog post that shows you all the quest steps for that okay next we have the treasure hunt events so there are some event dates in this that cover the january update i can tell you the event dates but i can't show you any more than that due to embargoes but this information is for both updates so deck the halls with new winter rewards that complete the perfect cozy cabin in the season's greetings treasure hunt event when it's cold outside this silly season your sims will love snuggling by the fire of a classic fireplace with seasonal garland hanging stockings festive tree staircase plus timber decor ranging from a dresser table side table and much more okay so let's talk about this first treasure hunt event this is going to come with this update it's called the season's greetings treasure hunt and it is going to start december 14th and it's going to last 11 days so the quest reward this time around is the partly patterned sweater this is in six different colors for male sims so make sure you do the quest to get that quest prize then in pyramid row four so the top row we've got the wicker dining chair in six different colors the very victorian rug in six different colors the come inside lamp in six different colors the season's greetings garland in six different colors and the waterhall gift pile in six different colors then the next row down pyramid row three we've got the hanging gifting stockings in six different colors the plush leather armchair in six different colors the elegant timber dining table in six different colors and the truly timber cabinet in six different colors then the next row down pyramid row two we've got the plush leather sofa in six different colors the pretty in plaid dress in six different colors that's for female sims and the tree trunk coffee table in six different colors pyramid row one we have the tide and true holiday tree in six different colors and the arcadian log bed in six different colors and the grand prizes are the thick ponytail in 17 different hair colors that's for female sims and the rustic log staircase in six different colors plus the cozy holiday fireplace in six different colors i am very excited to get some new christmas decorating items this is my current build that i'm working on and i'm loving that i'm gonna get some more stuff to plop in here so then they move on to talk about the treasure hunt event that's going to be in the next update this is coming in january i can't tell you any more than the text that's written in the blog post currently i can't show you any screenshots because of embargoes but stay tuned because i will dip into this in more detail very soon so don't forget to subscribe so here it reads later in our update when the chili season really hits sam small fry friday arrives in town with the winter wonderland treasure hunt as you help search
search for clues, you'll earn ancient relics and golden bunnies to unlock rewards that will create your perfect outdoor retreat with an ice skating rink, fire pit with enough seating for six sims, rustic garden arch, wood and stone gate, snowman, Christmas lanterns, vintage sled decoration and the list goes on. And the date that they've given for that in the blog post is 11th of January and that's an 11 day event. So stay tuned for more details on that. So back to this update, we've also introduced a new treasure hunt explorers kit feature. The helping hand has a variety of benefits and functions similarly to the sweet treat showdown pro ticket and is available at the beginning of this event for a limited time. Like all true treasure hunters should, Sims will wear an archaeologist inspired outfit while in treasure hunt events. I think that is so cool. If you get this explorer's kit, your Sim will then wear this outfit. That's going to be amazing. But also alongside the fact that they'll change into that little outfit, it will also unlock all events and clue boosts immediately. It will store up to 10 minigame attempts instead of the usual five. You'll receive a unique cast or build by item and that's going to differ each time it comes around. This time with this pack you get the feast fit for a sim in six different colours. And you'll also receive a bundle of event tokens to give you a head start on your favourite prizes. I think that outfit is so cute and that will be available alongside the treasure hunt event when that's live. And you'll also notice later the difference that they've made to the small fry pack that doesn't now come with an item so just stay tuned and I'll tell you all about that. Uh, we'll cover packs last. So just to clarify, your sim will only wear the special outfit if you buy this pack and they will only wear it during treasure hunt events. You won't get the outfit added to your cast. It will run for the first seven days of each treasure hunt event and it costs $9.99. You'll also get 30 clues, 350 relics and 120 golden bunnies. So next let's talk about the sweet treat event coming with this update. It's time to see 2020 off with the biggest party of the year. The bakery venue in Parkside will be transformed for a special winter sweet treat showdown challenge. New Year's Eve parties can be a lot of work to organise, so we have curated the absolute best of the best decor to help you transform your sims home into the most glamorous party house, the New Year's Gala. Event rewards include glamorous dress and star headband hairstyle for the perfect midnight moment, plus a countdown timer disco ball, fireworks, drinking bar cart, champagne tower and more. So let's talk about this sweet treat event. This is going to start on December 28th and it's going to run for 11 days. The prizes in the regular sweet treat box are the living loopy table in six different colours, the tray of party drinks in six different colours, the shell of a party sconce in six different colours, the looking glam palm tree in six different colours, the cane back chair in six different colours, the at the ready drinks cart in six different colours and the arboreal armour chandelier in six different colours. In the royal treat box we've got the sleek marble table in six different colours, the glittery greatness dress for female sims in six different colours and the charming champagne tower in six different colours. And then the grand prizes are the water star hairdo in 17 different colours for female sims, the new beginnings ball light in six different colours and the new beginnings fireworks in six different colours. They then in the blog post move on to talk about January's sweet treats. Once again I can only give verbal information as from the blog and I'll follow up with visuals at a later date once the embargo lifts. So once the buzz of the celebrations has worn off a little, don't forget the new year's resolutions you promised your sims. Jump into the charming craft sweet treat showdown to earn your very own sewing table, craft wall organiser, books with yarn, vintage mannequin and even plop down in a new rocking chair to relax. 
and this Sweet Treat Showdown Charming Crafts event will run for 11 days and start on January 25th. And if you do look at the event dates on the blog post, you can see we've also got some more Wumples events coming. So stay tuned for more information on those. Alongside the ones that I've mentioned in this video, we've also got one on the 9th of January, one on the 20th of January, and one on the 31st of January. So now let's go to the largest part of the video and talk about the packs coming with this update. So we have seven new packs coming. Two of these are reruns, so a great chance to pick these up if you haven't already. But I'll just start by saying that there will be a small fries pack running alongside the treasure hunt event, but it won't have the item in it, like the cast or build by item that you think it usually has a build by item in the pack as an incentive to buy it. This is called a catch up pack now so alongside the treasure hunt that's running with this update it's going to be called the seasons greetings treasure hunt catch up which reads it's your last chance to catch up on the seasons greetings treasure hunt. This pack contains all the tools you'll need to become a legendary explorer. This pack is only available during this event. You get 360 ancient relics, one 130 golden bunnies, 10 scrolls, 5,000 simoleons and 5 cupcakes. That's going to run from December 23rd to December 28th. It's priced at $9.99 and all of these packs are available for anyone level 5 or over. Next we have the Tis the Season pack. This pack is going to start December 14th and be available till December 22nd and is priced at $6.99. It's the most wonderful time of year and who better to spend it with than your loved ones. So bring your friends and family around and have a good time no matter what you celebrate. This pack looks a bit dull to me. Alongside 6,000 simoleons, you get the rustic candle log in six different colors, the splendid Canara in six different colours, the delicate display shelving in six different colours, and the delicate display cabinet. Then onto the first rerun, we have the Deck the Halls pack coming back. I'll put a link in the description to the first time I covered this pack if you'd like to see it. In a little more detail, this is a very cute pack. The holiday season is here and you can't stop your great auntie from asking awkward questions, but at least your home will look fabulous. Cheers. This has the most cute outfit in it of all time. This is going to run from December 15th until December 19th and be priced at $4.99. Alongside the 4,000 simoleons, you also get the precious tree outfit in six different colours. This is for toddler sims. Then we've got this garland in six different colours. Got some wintry greens in six different colours and some candles in six different colours. Plus this lovely snowman in six different colours. In my opinion, the pack is lovely. The garland's difficult to place. The snowman is great, but very clean cut. The other items are nice little details, but this pack is all about that toddler outfit. Then the next pack, which is also a rerun, is the stunning Santa pack. This is going to start December 20th and run to December 24th. It's priced at $7.99. Again, I'll put a link in the description to when I first showed this on my channel if you want to check it out in more detail. Add a little holiday spice. This playful pack features a mix of classic style and stunning new favourites inspired by Mrs. Claus herself. Where's that mistletoe? So we got 7,000 simoleons with this pack. I really wish they'd change the pack image in, but there we go. And this is all for female sims. We've got this hairstyle in 17 different hair colours. This is called the Big Beautiful Bun. Got the cookies and milk cat eye glasses in six different colours. The stunning Santa dress in six different colours. The holiday striped tights in six different colours. And the What the Dickens boots in six different colours. This is a perfectly put together pack, top to toe, of a Christmas outfit. 
I think it's really well done. They just need to change that pack image. And now on to some more new packs. This next one is called All Bundled Up. This is available from December 22nd to December 28th and is priced at $8.99. The temperature is dropping so make sure you bundle up. Show Winter who's boss with a fashionable and warm wardrobe. Okay, so this is all about the bobble hat for me. I love it. 8,000 simoleons in this pack. Plus, you get the wintry wonder dress in six different colours. Everything is packaged for female sims, once again. Tightly knitted tights in six different colours. Pom-pom beanie in six different colours. Folded over heels in six different colours. And the knitted together sweater in six different colours. And we don't have a preview build this time so I'm not able to show you the packs in any more depth than this and I apologise for that. Let's move on to the next pack which is called A New Start. This is going to run from December 28th to January 6th and be priced at $4.99. I really like this one. So a new year is around the corner and with it comes a chance to start again. So throw a party to celebrate all your resolutions that you're definitely going to stick to, definitely. So we get 4,000 simoleons with this one and some party decor, I think it's great. We get the celebratory confetti balloons in six different colors, the water star banner in six different colors, the smile wide streamers in six different colors and the new beginnings banner in six different colors and the final pack in this update is called swanky soiree this is going to start december 28th and run to january 6th and is priced at ten dollars 99 this is a nice mixture of male and female cast items thank goodness i think this pack is great a celebration is at hand and what better time to dress up to the nines with these duds you'll be the centre of attention at any event you visit. I don't know if duds is the right word to use translation wise, that does not mean the same thing in the UK. Okay, so we've got 10,000 simoleons with this one and four outfits and actually three of those are female sims, so it's not perfectly balanced. But anyway, I love the one on the right. Oh my goodness. Let's get the names for these. So we've got the astrology gown in six different colours the smoking jacket suit in six different colors that's the male sims one the striped gown in six different colors and the flapper gown in six different colors very excited to see those on my sims so that's it for packs and there's one final thing to share which is we're getting more items into the eco workshop they're going to be adding some items that we got actually from the super throwdown league event I will add those to the bottom of the page on my eco workshop blog on my website so be sure to check the link in the description if that's something you're keeping your eye on and you'll be able to see if you have a chance of being offered those items. So that's everything coming with this update with a little sprinkle of what will be in the next update. Please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I know this has been a highly anticipated update and I want to know if you think it's delivered or will deliver. So let me know what you think ahead of time and then let me know what you think when you've got your hands on it. Personally, I would definitely like to see more gameplay rewards in the new year. Perhaps I'll do another video or a blog post like I usually do about what I'd like to see in the upcoming year. But I'd love to hear what you guys think, but I think we definitely need some new gameplay, something fresh. It doesn't have to be events, just really could do with more stories and that kind of thing rather than it just becoming a build simulator. As much as I do enjoy building, the magic is slowly disappearing from the game. So let's start making a wish list. But I hope this video has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything coming up and I'll see you again soon. Bye.